Hey everybody, Defender here and welcome to another video. Uh, so today I just want to touch on the tripod system and how we're going to be having some changes coming to it and what we can do to manipulate that to our advantage. Um, we're going to follow on the trends and techniques the Korean players have used uh, to max out their tripods um, and this is all without relying on RNG. Okay, and if you're like me, then you're used to seeing a lot of fails in RNG in general. Whether it's, you know, honing, or tripods, quality upgrades, etc. You know, RNG is not our friend. Even though you may see these players with, with one taps in their videos, um, you know, maybe they roll a hundred quality weapon um, on an alt, uh, you know, these things aren't common. Um, they're by far the minority in the game. Um, so most of us are used to seeing a lot of these fails, um, especially when it comes to maxing out our tripods. You know, uh, they're rare enough as it is coming through uh, the highest chaos dungeons. Um, you know, and right now with the, the crystal and gold economy, you don't want to be buying tripods with Fions just to go uh, and, and roll them and waste your crystals and ultimately your gold or, or even real money um, on constantly seeing failed transfers. You know, you have a 5% base chance on a max level tripod transfer, and this is not favorable, right? Um, so, in the video, we're going to be covering how you can guarantee that you end up with max level 5 uh, tripods with the update that we're going to be seeing. Um, and not only will it save you a ton in gold and fions, uh, but it'll actually move your character towards the next step in, in becoming the best they can be, right? So uh, for some, it might even completely change their rotation uh, or play style on a fundamental level. So with that being said, let's dive into the video and explain how I've got all the crucial tripods uh, for all the characters I play, uh, maxed out and ready to go. As always, if you find this video useful, please consider dropping a like and a subscribe. I really appreciate all the support from you guys. It means the world to me. I've got a lot of informative videos planned for the future and I can't wait to bring them to you. Um, and please let me know in the comments down below any ideas you might have for upcoming topics to discuss in Lost Ark or if there's ways I can improve on the videos I'm doing at the moment. Or maybe if you just want to correct some information I might have gotten wrong in the video, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but with that being said, let's jump straight into today's video. Enjoy. So anything we can do to beat beat that RNG essentially is ideal um, and so what we know about the update is that all of the tripods that you have saved in your tripod storage which I'll show you now is over here so if you go to the the vendor and you go to your inventory here you'll see the stored tripods right so these are the ones you have saved and um, what's gonna happen is everything you have saved in this inventory when the update hits is gonna be automatically learned to your character um, and then you can freely choose between the ones that you already know um, of course you can still upgrade after the update and you have improved odds of upgrading but with this update we can store the highest level ones that we can get off the auction house or through trading for example and then as soon as the update hits we'll automatically learn those and we'll have our character essentially um, maxed on the tripods uh, for the skills so First and most importantly is to know your build and know the tripods that you need to have the, the correct, efficient build. So I've been playing Gun Lancer now for a little while. Uh, I'm familiar with the skills that I want to use in uh, the Low Knight build, for example. And I've fact checked that on um, a couple of websites like uh, Lower and I'm on Discord with the guild. Um, and with friends and just kept the people that you see as you play you have a discussion with them you can go to tricks and try out builds um, and you'll you'll learn what the um, the meta or the um, the most efficient way to play that uh, engraving or class is and doing that you can then start to mark the tripods that you want to track so we can see here for example this has one tripod just bash and what we want to do here is we want to try and get ready attack uh, to level five um, and that's going to increase your attack power for five seconds after you land that hit. And that's something that's very um, proli uh, prolific in the, um, in the rotation for the Gun Lancer. Um, almost in every DPS burst, you're going to open up with Bash, and then you're going to end up using Surge and then Charged, for example. And then again, you're going to go Bash, and you're going to use Gun Lance and Dash. 
and also the good thing about bash is that we're constantly applying an armor debuff as well so you get defense down um, so it's a very very um, important skill to make sure that you have maxed out i mean obviously you want all of these to be maxed out at level five um, on the engravings and you can just see as, as i've been playing and upgrading mine are at threes and fours you know um, nothing really maxed out because the last one is so hard to uh to get to land even with your your powder of sage the um i think the odds are 10 percent or something along those lines so very very slim and the odds of you finding those as well are quite small from the chaos engines so what we do is we we go to the auction house which is where i tend to find most of mine for example and then um you find the ones you want and I have a couple of spreadsheets. I keep track of the ones I needed, knowing that the update was coming. And I found this one on the auction house. And this is ready attack, maxed out, because it's level four. So you add four levels on top of your base level that you start at level one. So that will make it maximum level five. Um, and I also found one for another skill I'm tracking, um, which is really important. So it was a, a two for one, if you will, which is ideal. Obviously, if you can find three level fours that you need in one piece of broken gear, then you are hitting the lottery really the jackpot and you want to try and get that item if it's affordable now i know right now fions are um, extremely expensive because the crystal market is booming because there's a bit of a gold depreciation because um, it's so easy to to stockpile gold at the moment um, we have a lot of uh, repeat raids everyone's doing there's no real um, motivation to to spend a lot of the gold because most people have what they need and so the prices of things are going up and as a result, crystal prices are going up as well. So obviously fee on costs are a big thing to consider. So if you can get more than one of these skills on an item, then you are quiz in, as we say. So what you wanna do is you wanna find uh, a broken piece of gear that you have a slot for in this inventory, and you wanna find uh, a skill that you want on your, your, um, your tripod needs. So for example, just go to the auction house, we'll search, gear all we'll find bash because that's what we've just been looking for we'll find ready attack it tells you that it's marked on your tripods and you'll put it in level four and that is plus four levels on top of your base tripod so that is level five okay if you put if you put five in you won't find anything because it doesn't exist um, so we put in four and we can see here we have all sorts of pieces um, that will fit into the inventory now, as you go along, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, don't buy four or five chess pieces for different tripods, for example, because there's a limit in your inventory for tripods of the, the armor that you wear. So there's six slots in each page um, and you only start with two pages open. So that's uh, 12 armor slots. And obviously you can have uh, up to three uh, skill tree uh, tripods in each item. So if you're clever about it, you could technically get all 18. I mean, your, your RNG odds are very small of finding a piece with all three that you need for all six slots. But hypothetically, you could just fill all of your tripods in one of your tripod inventories. Anyway, so back to the point. We have here, for example, are some legs, okay? And that's got bash ready attack four. Now, as it's the cheapest, you might just wanna go for the cheapest or you might want to keep looking and see if you can find a couple of level fours. Now, you could, this might take a long time, but you could put in another one, like for example, Charge Stinger. You could put in one of the ones you want from Charge Stinger, put in four, and just see if there's anything that comes up. And as we see, there is something. You could go a step further, and you could put another one in, for example. Put in one of the abilities you want, and put in four. Now, the odds of that hitting are very, very small, right? So it's multiplicative finding one very very likely um, because people are looking to make some money now knowing this update's coming you find two less likely but it's definitely plausible i've had a couple of drops that have had two fours before the ones i've needed and of course you know i've learned it and then i've sold it but the other finding three very 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 slim and the item would probably cost you a lot of money um, in the first place so i would suggest just going for one and as and then if you sort by your prices, whether it's bid or buy, and just looking down to see if there's more than one that has uh, a level four that you need. And if there isn't, then you just go for the cheapest that you can get. And um, and I would mark it for interest. And then I would 
go through a lot of my skills and then come back to the interests after. As you can see, I bought all of these. Um, so I'd go through and then I would fill the slots that I needed on my, on my, uh, my gaps, for example. So I know um, here, so I've got uh, legs and gloves already sorted. So I only have space in this page three um, for uh, the rest of these pieces of armor. So I've got helmet, shoulders, chest, and weapon. So what I've done is I've gone through on the market. I've looked for the last few tripods I need and I found the cheapest versions I could for them. Um, so here we've got uh, gun lance and this is the last one I needed at level five. And so we're gonna save that into the inventory. We're gonna lock it in place so that we don't overwrite it down the line. And what that does is when the update hits for tripods is that's gonna automatically transfer over to level five, which is the maximum level as we stand. And then for chest as well, this is a very big one for me. Uh, this is uh, for boss damage and it's level five and it's on a, the second biggest damaging skill that the gun lancer has. So we're gonna learn that in there and we're gonna lock it. And again, that's gonna automatically compete to level five as soon as the update comes. I'll just go through the last couple I've got and that was another one for the same ability. And then shoulders had the, uh, the last two. And that was the, the bash and the ready attack, okay? And so we're gonna lock all those so that we don't overwrite them down the line. And um, so as we can see here, you know, we've got pretty much all of the level four skills that I've wanted on my tripods for my class. Um, I, ha I have got a spreadsheet up as well, which I can I can show you in the, um, in the clip and the editing. I'll put it in so you can see how I'm tracking things. And then as I'm going, I'm just making a note of the item that I find on the auction house, um, which slot it goes in in the armor. So let's say I found um, the bash ready attack one, I would put, okay, I found that for shoulders, but I've also found it for gloves. So then if I only find uh, shoulders for something else that I'm looking for, I know, okay, well, I've got gloves for this one as well. So I can buy that one in shoulder and that one in gloves. And then there's room for both of those in the, the skill tree storage. The last thing you wanna do is um, buy up a bunch of gloves, for example, and then not have room to put them in. And so you then have to pay crystal fees to open up more space. You know, we're trying to save as much space as possible because when the update hits, we're not gonna get this, this, this value refunded. It is, uh, they've stated that it is um, you spending that with intentions to, to store as much as possible. Um, and Smallgate are aware of that and uh, so are Amazon Studios, AGS, and so they're not gonna be refunding any of that price that you pay. Um, but it is, in my opinion, worth it if you can max out all of these free slots. There's two, two lots of free slots of six. And then if you wanna get a third one, I would say get a third one, but you shouldn't need more than three okay and this one is 50 crystals and then 100 and then i'm not sure what the, th the the last one's price is i wouldn't be surprised if it's 200 or something or probably 150 if we're incremental and there is one really important piece of information that you need to know and that is that all of the tripods that you have on your gear equipped so these ones that are learned but they're on your gear and not in the vendor inventory for example these ones will not transfer over with the update. And that has been stated officially by Smilegate and AGS. So for example, right here, you can see I've got some level threes on gun, gun light shot and a level two. Those wouldn't transfer over. So if I didn't have anything in the, the vendor, in the inventory over here, if I didn't have any of the gun lance skills saved, um, then eff effectively what would happen is that the, the gun lance skills would all be level one when the update hit, okay? And I'd have to then relearn them through um, transferring tripods over in the new system um, with powder of sage to make it more efficient um, and it is worth noting that yes the odds are increased um, with the update I believe they're all doubled um, on a generalization I don't think it's exactly doubled per level but the odds are roughly doubled from what they are now and that means that you know if you want to save money in the long run and not put any into the inventory space that you run out of, your odds are gonna be improved. So you are more likely after the update to start learning tripods that are higher up in level um, than you are before the update. So for example, if you've got no space left in here, no crystals, but you have a couple of pieces of gear that are really, really good that you wanna learn, 
hold off until the update happens and then you'll have in improved odds around i believe around double the chances um and then i'll see that doubles with powder of sage as well so yeah hold off on upgrading your tripods if you don't have any space yeah and that's it for this video really make sure you you get on top of this uh, as quick as possible because the more people that understand this the more the price is going to increase on the market and as crystal prices go up as well then fion prices go up and as the auction house prices for these pieces of broken gear go up you know everything just adds together to make the, the whole process more expensive okay but yeah that's it everybody thank you so much for watching the video of course um and as usual you know uh, stay safe enjoy the game um don't burn out uh you know it's just a game at the end of the day so just have fun and yeah stay tuned for more content and thank you